for that title. Now consider one of the most exciting rookie of the year battles we've seen in quite some time. A group of drivers that just last April were new to this type of open wheel racing. A stage to show worthy of a group of longtime veterans. One of the tightest points battles in this year at Toyota Atlantic Championship is the fight for Rookie of the Year honors. The driver of this car, car 91, Jean-Francois Villieu, sits second in the championship. He's chasing Sam Hornish Jr. Hornish helped himself greatly with a win in the series' last event at Chicago Motor Speedway. But the spoiler in all of it could be the driver of the 23 car, William Langhorn. Langhorn, who has sat out four events, currently sits third in the championship. He's qualified well this weekend, and who knows, at the end of this weekend's event, we could have a new leader in the Rookie of the Year battle. On a very rainy day, two championships still very much on the line as the Toyota Atlantics prepare to challenge the streets of Vancouver, British Columbia in their last appearance this century in Canada. than what normally is the beautiful Pacific Northwest. But as you can see, rain very much a factor as we welcome you to our neighbor to the north, Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm Gary Gerald, along with our expert commentator, Jan Bigas. We've already heard from Brian Till, former champion of this series in the pits. Jan, this circuit has been modified, but the rain makes this a whole new day. What do you think we can expect? Well, first of all, the visibility is going to be really treacherous for these guys. They're telling them to turn the rain lights on because you want to be sure you don't run into a car in that spray. It's also going to be like an ice rink. They have made some changes on the racetrack to try and open it up for passing, but in these conditions, it's just going to be treacherous. It will be an adventure as we check. round out a 25 car field what an adventure for these drivers this is the first time this season that they've had to deal with this type of rain it is treacherous it is slippery Jan, one of the major concerns is you get onto the painted spots on any of these city streets it becomes doubly slick maybe triply slick yes and it's something you have to be very very careful of but the main thing you want to watch for right off the green flag they'll form up is that lack of visibility it's a real advantage to be up front looking for the green there are two sets of pits on this circuit the champ car pits the green flag is displayed and the venture begins buddy rice on the right side of the screen tagliani oh. and rice already has problems he skates right through the opening turn and from the front row he'll go all the way to the back if he can keep it running here's a problem for peter mcleod look at tagliani slip and slide through the first series of corners oh my what an adventure and here sits buddy rice he gets the car refired and is moving, but everyone has passed him by. Well, we talked about an ice rink. I think that was a great example of that. David Rutledge also in trouble here. It does not take much. You can see that Buddy Rice in that first turn seemed like he was hardly moving, but couldn't get it turned. And damage on the car here as the right rear wing panel had been knocked off. And the rain coming down in a heavy shower as we go on board briefly with Anthony Lazaro. And this is what he is trying to find his way around this circuit in. And you can hear the wheel spin. You could certainly see the lack of visibility. David Rutledge has refired, but has significant damage. Now watch on the right-hand side of the screen. 
Buddy Rice, it does not look like he's going very quick, but the car simply will not turn. Anthony Lazaro also swung wide, right. along with some others. Lazaro went slipping back a bit. Player's car, Tagliani, has slipped back. Kenny Wilden chases right behind him. So the drivers try to sort their way through the rain and the opening laps as we're just underway. Atlantic Championship competition, unlike anything we've seen thus far this year, from the streets of Vancouver. Today's Toyota Atlantic Championship action is being brought to you by Toyota. Every day belongs to you. Make it count. Who invite you to visit the Toyota Atlantic Championship website at www.toyota-atlantic.com. And by the Rosedale on Robson, the official hotel headquarters for the Toyota Atlantic Championship. One book every motorsports fan must have. Moments ago, in the rain, a timed race came into play. The checkers were displayed, and under our third full course yellow of the day, look at here as the rookie, William Langhorn, has got his first Atlantic victory. Bourdain got by Wilden, coming to the yellow for second place. Wilden on the podium for the fourth straight time in third. Buddy Rice, what a job. Twice coming from deep in the field to finish fourth. But you finishing fifth. Lazaro didn't clinch a championship today. He ends up in the sixth position with two races to go. Let's go down to Brian Till, and I think we're going to find a lot of jubilation with the rookie winner, Langhorn, Brian. A lot of jubilation. Will, first win in the Toyota Atlantic Championship. Great for your rookie battle in what could be termed horrible condition. Absolutely. Uh, but, you know, the... the Vancouver's just done a fantastic job creating a safe track. It was very consistent. It was easy for us to race out there. I mean, it was it was phenomenal. It, it was uh, a, a pleasure and an honor to race against such great drivers in this series. And and Bourdain, he really had the speed on the field. I, I got lucky out there. He had the pace on me. So a, a credit to Andrew and, and uh, Active Motorsports. Just thank you so much to those guys for giving me a, a great car. Congratulations on your first victory. We're going to see this guy again, I'll bet. <laughs> 25 years of age. His previous best was the last race fifth at Mid-Ohio. He skipped the Oval at Chicago, and in his, what, sixth race of the year, he comes back with the winner. Now the championship points chase is alive, going now to our next venue, which will be this next week at Laguna Seca. And Lazaro again will have an opportunity to clinch. He took the conservative route in the rain today and ended up in sixth position, but he still has that healthy lead. Kenny Wilden hanging on to the second spot. Remember to catch our next race in just one week's time from the beautiful and challenging Laguna Sega Raceway. Round 11 of the 1999 Toyota Atlantic Championship airs Saturday, September 18th at 4.30 p.m. For Brian Till in the pits, Jan Bikas in the booth, I'm Gary Gerald. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations, Will Langhorn.